Well, Darren, the run comes to an end. What did you make of that today? I think uh, the decision, uh, the referee's decision, um, sending Liam off didn't help. Um, but having said that, this is perhaps the second time when you know, I look at the Hartlepool game, it just wasn't last from start to finish. And um, these things happen. Sometimes it, it's never nice losing, but it just brings you back down to earth again. That this team can be beat. And uh, there's still a lot of hard work to do. You say the ref's decision obviously had a huge bearing on the game. What did you make of the decision and what did you see of the incident? I think from the angle that I had, you could see, you know, Dunn, he's quite an experienced player, he's quite a clever player. There was a tussle on the ground before and, uh, you know, there was a, a little push uh, from what I've seen. Uh, I think the referee said it was a slap, but I certainly didn't see any contact to the face. Um, there was grappling. Could be, you know, perceived in, in different ways, but he's made that decision and uh, we had to deal with that. But I was just more disappointed of our athleticism on the day. It just didn't look like we uh, covered ground as good as what we normally have. Just a final word on the sending off. Will you be considering an appeal against that? I'm going to have to look at it a lot closer because, again, it was on the opposite side of the pitch. But, yeah, I was disappointed with, uh, with the referee's uh, performance, but... You know, it happens. And what of, of, of your team? The, the two goals in the first half, I imagine they both would have disappointed you. Yeah, I mean, any goal at the moment disappoints us because they've been doing so well. Uh, but again, it happens as a manager, you're never going to win every game. Even the top managers all around the world don't win every game. I'm just more disappointed in the performance and uh, in the manner that we lost the game. And uh, we'll be working hard next week and uh, I'll be making sure uh, the players get back on track and uh, that everyone follows suit to make sure that we uh, keep this football club in the, in the football league. Is the only consolation today that teams around you by and large lost, including defeats for Dagenham and Redbridge and for York today? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's going to happen. And uh, I don't want to rely on other teams and I want to get the job done early, which is why I'm going to keep pushing this squad. Um, this squad uh, is done fantastically well. And uh, they've had a bad day at the office today. And um, for whatever reason, I'm going to have to address what the problems were. I know getting a man sent off never helps, but someone's got to take responsibility now and putting the ball in the back of the net with, with Francois out. And, uh, you know, that's what players get paid to do. If you want to be a top footballer and you want to be a striker, you've got to score goals. And I want to, to accept that responsibility. Two issues to clear up. Brandon Guship's loan ends after today's game. Have you made a decision on him? Yeah, Brandon's obviously someone that I want to keep. Um, you know, he, he fits the, the right requirements to the way I want to play. And um, you know, he, he's, he's a good footballer. Uh, I think if you had to judge him on today, you would perhaps say no. Uh, but having said that, he's made a massive contribution like every other player has at this football club um, beforehand. So um, I don't want to judge too, too much on today. Just finally, Kevin Dawson came off at half-time. He's been one of your, your better players. Was that an injury, Darren? Yeah, he's uh, carrying a groin injury. Um, and uh, it's important they look after themselves, they carry that level of professionalism and uh, I'll be making sure next week um, you know, I'm, I'm bang on money and uh, I'm watching everything that they're doing and making sure they're living right to, to make sure we keep this club in the league.